This is the battery powered jigsaw. What it's used for is for cutting timber and aluminium and acrylics. So obviously if you change the blade, it will cut different materials. Um, that's the blade there. This is the base of the saw. Um, this here sets, is the settings for the different cuts. So first is up and down. As you go through, it does slightly that way, and right that way, it does more of a regressive cut. So if you're cutting, say, plywood, you have it on the first one so that it doesn't chip. The last one may be for uh, solid timber, like pine. Uh, that there is a lock. So centre, lock. That there is the trigger. So you can start it off gently, and the more you pull it, the more aggressive cut you will get. At the back there is the battery. Um, an etiquette in this workshop is you always put it on the lock position before you put it down, just for safety reasons. Uh, some other things that might come off this saw would be sawdust and chips and all that sort of stuff. So you wear your glasses to protect your eyes from chips. Uh, for the noise, you're going to wear your earmuffs. If you're cutting, say, MDF, you always wear a dust mask because of the dust that comes off it. If for some reason you want to change the blade on one of these, you always take the battery out for safety reasons. Because if in the stage when you go to change the blade and you push the trigger down, nothing will happen. Okay. To change the blade or take the blade out, you lay the saw over like that. There's a little red lever there. You bring it around to the side, the blade pops out, and so forth. The blade goes in. If for some reason when you're cutting that your saw cut starts to go back on an angle, it means that your blade is blunt. Right. In this demonstration here, we're going to cut off this little piece of timber here. It's called, this material is called plywood. We're going to cut on this side of the line there. Okay. First thing we're going to do is actually clamp the job down to the bench. So we're going to use the G-clamp. Uh, the amount of material you want hanging off is, um, you don't want too much because it's actually going to vibrate. If you go too close, you're actually going to cut into the bench and you don't want the clamp to actually hit on the saw. So we've clamped it down. Okay. All that does is it allows us so that I can put two hands on my jigsaw. Another thing you do is just make sure your blade's sharp before you start your cut, and you've got the correct blade for the material. As I mentioned before, this is plywood, so we're going to use a timber blade. Uh, our setting's going to be on one, just there, so it's straight up and down, and it doesn't chip our job. The PPE I require is glasses for chips, earmuffs for the noise. So they, th they say that anything that's noisier than your normal speaking voice, you always put your earmuffs on. Just for the purpose of this demonstration, I won't put a dust mask on so that you can actually hear me speak. Um, in this workshop, you treat all uh, dust as dangerous so that you would actually put a dust mask on. Okay, so I've got my earmuffs on. Alright, you always bring your saw in and make sure it's flat there. And you always start the saw with the blade away from the job. You notice when you actually gently pull the trigger, a little the saw starts up, nice and slow. And the faster you go, the more cut you'll get. So, pistol grip there, hand on top, and we're going to feed it through and we're going to cut that way. I've taken the lock off. I'll put my saw down like so. Okay, my saw's resting on the piece of material. My blade's not start touching the job because if you actually start the saw with the blade on the job, the saw will bounce back that way. Okay, you start the saw nice and slow and build revs up. Okay, you always want the saw on full pace when you're doing the cut. You actually look at the piece of timber, it's nice and square that way, which means the blade's still sharp. If it starts to bevel over, which means your blade is actually blunt and the blade's moving because it's overheating. This is the next part of the demonstration. I've drilled a hole there and a hole there. I'm going to clamp it down to the bench and get the jigsaw and cut the remainder of the job out. Okay. Same again, you don't want too much hanging out, too little, and you'll actually cut into the bench. So G clamp. Okay. 
our job secured to the bench, so that means I can put two hands onto our jigsaw. PPE I've got on is safety glasses for chips. And just over here is my ear muffs for the noise. For plywood, you don't need a dust mask, but if you're cutting an MDF, you would put a dust mask on. Okay, so we've got my ear muffs on. When you go to start a cut, you put the saw in and you make sure it's free of all the material. You never start a saw up here and try and feed it into the hole and you never start the saw on the job because it will bounce back towards you. When you first start the cut, you gently depress the trigger and we're going to cut that way. So we've got the pistol grip, hand on top, and I'm going to cut towards that way. Okay, let your hand off the trigger and you wait for the saw to stop going up and down before you gently pull it out. So that's the first cut. The next cut I'm going to do is actually come around here and we're going to cut back towards that way. You always make sure you're comfortable. If you're not, you can turn the job round. Same again, depress it. Stop the saw and lift it out. Okay, then I'm going to cut back this way. If you're going to start the saw and it's already in a cut, what you do is you back it back a little bit before you, before you start it. And you, it's called pulsing, which means to do this. What it does is it cleans any of the swarth out of the cut and start the cut. And stop. Lift it out. Then I'm going to cut through this way. Stop, lift the saw out. If your clamp's in the road, obviously you can rotate your job and move it around, make yourself comfortable. Okay, make sure you pulse your saw so it doesn't jam. Clean the last little corner up, so we're going to start here and go back that way. And the next cut is down this way. When you're using a jigsaw, you try not to do really tight curves. You make them nice and gentle. Just depends on the blade you're using there. square hole. One square hole. Okay, some key points there. I never tried to do a really sharp curve with that jigsaw blade. It's a fairly wide one, so you make nice gentle curves as you go through and you won't jam the blade. 